Okay, here's the question. And this question actually has two parts, so here we go. Any physical quantity can be multiplied by one without changing its value. For example, one equals one minute equals 60 seconds, so one equals 60 seconds divided by one minute. Similarly, one foot equals 12 inches, so one equals one foot divided by 12 inches. Using the appropriate conversion factors, find A, the speed in meters per second equivalent to 55 miles per hour, and B, the volume in cubic centimeters of a tank that holds 16 gallons of gasoline. So let's start with part A here. And we want to convert 55 miles per hour into the equivalent value in meters per second. Let's start with the top. Let's start with miles. We, we know from any, phys, any physics textbook, you can probably find this in the appendix, that one mile is about equal to 1,609 meters. So if we divide both sides by, in this case, one mile, what we get is that one is equal to 1,609 meters per mile, or yeah, divided by one mile. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this quantity, 55 miles per hour, and we're going to multiply it by one. But not just any one, we're going to multiply it by this one right here. So this is times 1609 meters in one mile, so per mile. And what we're going to see already is that these miles and these miles are going to cancel out. And we'll get there in a sec, but we have to convert one more thing. We have to deal with time. We're given 55 miles per hour. We want meters per second, so we have to convert hours to seconds. Well, hours and seconds are related as such. One hour, we know there are 60 minutes in an hour, and there are 60 seconds in a minute. So altogether, 60 times 60 means that there are 3,600 seconds in an hour. So in this case, if we divide by, because the hours is on the bottom, we're going to divide by 3,600 seconds on both sides. And what we see is that 1 is equal to 1 hour divided by 3,600 seconds. One hour divided by 3,600 seconds. So now we're going to take this quantity up here and we're going to multiply it by one again. But not just any one, we're going to multiply by this one in particular. Okay, now we just have to do some arithmetic. So the numbers are 55 times 1609 divided by 3600, and that should come out to be about about equal to, what do I have, about 25. And what we see here, here's the real fun part. The, the units, these miles cancel out with these miles, and this hour cancels out with that hour, and what we're left with is meters on top and seconds on the bottom. So this is about equal to 25 meters per second. Okay, let's take a look at part B here. Part B, we want to convert 16 gallons of water into the equivalent in cubic centimeters. Well, we're going to do this in two steps. A gallon, as it turns out, is about equal to 231 cubic inches. So if we multiply by 1, 
or excuse me, if we divide by, in this case, divide by one gallon, then what we have is one is equal to 231 inches cubed divided by one gallon. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply this 16 gallons by this one right here, 231 inches cubed divided by one gallon. Okay, now we're almost there. So at this point, if we stop, we can see that the gallons are going to cancel out with the gallons, and we're going to be left with some number in terms of cubic inches. But we're not quite there because we want this in cubic centimeters. Well, let's see here. Let's talk about inches and centimeters for a second. One inch is about equal to 2.54 centimeters. So in this case, we want to we going to we have inches upstairs, so we're going to want inches downstairs. So we're going to divide by inches, divide by one inch, and so what we're left with is one is equal to two point five four centimeters for every one inch. Well, we could just do that. We so we're going to multiply by one. But we're not going to multiply by just this right here. So let's put that in. 2.54 centimeters per inch. That's not going to cut it because we've, only, we've got three units of inch upstairs and only one inch unit of inch downstairs. So for this to work, what we need to do is we need to take this value of one right here and cube it. The good news is one cubed is still one, so we're not changing the value of anything if we just do that. Now we can do our arithmetic. So what I've got is 16 times 231 times 2.54 times 2.54 times 2.54 is about equal to, what do I have, 6.1 times 10 to the fourth and what I'm going to have is the gallons are going to cancel out uh, these inches cubed are going to cancel out with these inches cubed and what I'm going to have then I, I'm going to have the only thing I have left is centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters I'm sorry I ran out of room here but this should be the right answer for part B 6.1 times 10 to the fourth cubic centimeters.